On today's show, we're assembling the troops to commemorate the milestone 200th episode of Teen Titans Go. Plus, we're unboxing the latest haul from Funko's Legion of Collectors, so get ready for DC All Access. Hey guys, I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Whitney Moore. Set your grandfather clocks to 1047 because it's time to run down all the latest DC news. A mysterious force is mobilizing the world's deadliest assassins in Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. The team jumps into action to safeguard Gotham City, but when Nightwing ends up in the crosshairs, Batgirl's relationship with Huntress is thrown for a loop. Unleash your inner predator and snatch up issue number eight starting tomorrow. The Far East is on a collision course with Metropolis in New Superman. Lex Luthor recruits the Chinese Man of Steel to take down one of LexCorp's enemies, and the mission attracts the attention of the last son of Krypton. Catch the first meeting of the Superman in issue 9 this week. The vampire threat in the city of Santa Carla has reached a deadly climax in The Lost Boys. The final fight that Sam, Michael, and the Frog Brothers face against the Blood Bells will require all of their strength, and there will be plenty of blood spill before the battle is won. Keep a wooden stake close by and enjoy issue number six tomorrow. In gaming news, NetherRealm threw down the gauntlet at GDC with some delicious new updates on Injustice 2. The game's developers unveiled a deeper look at the new gear system and the endless customization that comes with it. Plus, they announced the all-powerful Dr. Fate as the latest hero to join the fight. If you haven't pre-ordered your copy yet, head on over to Injustice.com today. The latest box from Funko's Legion of Collectors subscription service is Superman themed. And we're going to show you some of the awesome stuff you can find inside. First up, you got to notice the awesome Superman art on the outside of this Legion of Collectors box. And then when you open it up, like every single time, there's a really cool Superman patch and an exclusive Superman pin. Put that wherever you want, you know, backpack, jean jacket, whatever you want. Inside, of course, is an awesome Superman t-shirt. And then look right here. Classic Superman, exclusive to the box, pop vinyl figure. That is gonna go on my desk, guys. And then in here is the Superman keychain. He's so cute, he's gonna stop Lex Luthor from stealing your car. And then this thing might be the coolest thing I've ever seen in a Funko Legion of Collectors box. This is a first appearance Superman, three and three quarter inch action figure. And if you look, it is exactly like the first cover of Action Comics number one. Down here in the bottom is a little handy dandy map that shows you what's everything in the box. And then also a preview of next month, Wonder Woman, it's gonna be wonderful. And then always at the very bottom of the Legion of Collectors boxes is the Superman number one issue with an exclusive cover. The deadline has passed for the Superman box, but you can sign up today to receive the next pack, which is Wonder Woman themed at legionofcollectors.com. Teen Titans Go! is a monster hit for DC and Cartoon Network, and for today's featured story, we're going to catch up with the cast and crew to celebrate their upcoming 200th episode. Check it out! Uh, the 200th episode is a very self-indulgent episode. It is an idea actually that came from Cartoon Network. They thought it would be neat if uh, the Teen Titans themselves meet the people who make the show. We find out that we're animated and it's devastating and we meet our dumb writers and producers and we're very unimpressed with them and it's very hilarious. So they try to make the cartoon themselves and they learn how hard that is. It's still so weird because when we record these it takes about nine months roughly before they air. So the 200th episode is an awesome two-parter, and I'm going to have to wait nine months to share this with everybody. To get 200 episodes under our belt seems like, it's like, it's, it's totally a dream come true. We've been doing the show for so long as an ensemble cast, so to get to do it as a completely different version and to have the fans appreciate it, have fun, and enjoy it, we, we just love it so much. Uh, you know, reaching 200 episodes is pretty uh, great. I mean, I don't think any of us expected that the show would be going this long and also be going strong this long. It's crazy. It seems like we just started making this show yesterday, so it's, it's, it feels really weird that we've actually made 200 episodes. Hey, what's a guy got to do to get a panel of the week around here? You know what I'm saying? Come on. That's the news for this week, but don't forget to enter for your chance to win the Rebirth Action Figure 7 Pack and collected editions from last week's episode. Head over to dccomics.com slash watch and win, fill out the form, and you could be our lucky winner. Ooh, you want to read some internet comments from last week's episode? Of course. Puckaluck says, glad to see my boy Hal in the JL Rebirth Pack. I know, man, I have a giant shelf of Green Lantern action figures and he's gonna join it. Batboy95 says, I love Justice League action and can I voice a character in Justice League action? I think I can be a good actor. Well, 
I can't help you. I just got hired here, but I believe in you. Soul Stealer 29A says, I want that Indigo Tribe t-shirt not. Great use of the uh, Indigo Tribe words, first off. And that's my t-shirt from last week. You can find all that at shopdcentertainment.com. Go get all the Lantern Corps. Get yourself a blue one, too. Alexander Coleman says, not gonna lie, I was waiting on Cyborg to say booyah. Here's one for you right now. Booyah! You keep sending in comments and we'll keep reading them. And don't forget to click subscribe to DC All Access. We'll see you tomorrow, super friends. Bye-bye.